Hey everybody, this is uh, Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I just wanted to give you a quick video today uh, and I wanted to talk to you about pivoting, about pivoting during your strategy. <clears throat> so I'm out here in Tennessee, in a field, uh, conducting a GPR survey, we're locating uh, shallow targets and on my way to Nashville, which is where the survey is, um, we looked at the weather channel and it said that later in the day, which was yesterday, that it was uh, a 50% chance of rain. Now coming up here, I planned on using my ground penetrating radar first to collect the data and then using the magnetometer on the second day to collect the data um, because I wanted to get as much as I can out of the way with the GPR. So the GPR is, is less efficient, it's a slower data collection than the magnetometer. Maybe you know it's a 50% or, or or 100% uh, more time it takes to collect the data with the with the GPR. So I kind of wanted to get that that out of the way and done, right? Just finished. And on the way up, it said it was going to rain. <clears throat> now, you know, I always talk about being able to control what you can control. It's actually the first step in uh, uh, creating a successful GPR survey. Uh, if you go to learngpr.com and you sign up for our GPR basics course, we have a whole lesson about the, the essential steps for conducting a GPR survey. So step number one, I always say, is control what you can control. Problem is you can't control everything. Okay, you can't control everything. And one thing I can't control is the weather. And so I said it was gonna rain, so I had to pivot. Right? I had to change my strategy of how I was going to collect data because I understand the equipment, I understand how different uh, environmental factors or you know, climatic conditions will affect the data collection process and will affect you know, the quality of the data for post-processing. And because it was supposed to rain for a couple hours, I knew my day was going to be shortened. And so coming up here, I decided to use the magnetometer first collect as much data as I can. So this way, if it rained, I can come back later on in the day or in the late evening uh, to finish the survey with the magnetometer because the conditions before and after the rain don't affect the magnetometer's readings. Right? The magnetometer is affected, it's a passive uh, technique and it's affected by the, the field strength. Um, but the rain's not going to affect it. But rain significantly affects ground penetrating radar data. Okay, if you collect half of your survey before the rain and the other half of your survey after the rain, it creates a very difficult situation to correlate those two data sets. Waves are moving at completely different speeds. And so what you really want to do is collect GPR data at the most ideal time that you can. I mean, over here, these aren't necessarily ideal conditions, but you know, with the conditions that they are, I want to be as ideal as they can possibly be. And so uh, we decided to change it up because the rain was coming. I knew that I can collect some of the magnetometer before and some of the magnetometer afterwards. It wouldn't affect the data. But then this way on today, when it was supposed to be clear skies, I can collect the whole thing with the GPR and have a consistent data set. So always be aware of what you can control, but don't be afraid to change your initial uh, um, decision based on new information. So as you know, the, the uh, environment or, or the weather changes, you might have to change your strategy too. So I hope this was valuable. I hope that you learned something from this. Um, please, you know, share this around with people who you think might be interested. Go to learngpr.com and sign up for our uh, free GPR training course. Absolutely free. Just put in your email and we'll send you the, the, the video absolutely free. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.